Welcome, Lucy has let me loose on her screen flow. So I, most of these demonstration ones are Lucy, but I'm gonna to talk to you today about Facebook, somewhere I'm really, really comfortable. What we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about the three different types of functionality that Facebook have, like their own product, if you like. This isn't Instagram or, or, or um, WhatsApp, this is just Facebook, and what to do to increase your search engine optimization. And the very first page we're looking at is Lucy's homepage. See, there's Brian Wilson there, Her, she's the biggest fan in the world. Um, what's the most important thing here is on Lucy's homepage, there are, uh, let's see, there are, there's an about section. And in the about section, that it's, vitally important that you're putting your business's website so we can link onto there and it's really easy to do so you just edit the profile and you can change the website so that's the first thing now getting new likes on your business page isn't easy unless you're already friends and you see Lucy's got 3,000 friends there and those 3,000 would be easy to convert into her business page. So let's look at her business page and it's Lucy Web Designs. There you go. Now, before I move, actually, I should warn you that, there we go. This is the business page and Mark Zickenberg, the owner of Facebook, doesn't want you to use your personal page as your business page. There's lots of examples that Lucy and I uh, we warn people not to do that and they get everything taken away from them. What I mean is if Facebook figure out that they don't, uh, that you're using your personal page as your business page, you will be in deep trouble. They'll take it away. So this is Lucy's page, her business page. You get lots of analytics and she can spend money on um, doing different things, uh, offers, uh, and you can put it underneath the nose of people. But what, what we're going to talk about today is search engine optimization. And it, um, it, I, I'm just so curious when I see people and they don't put links back to her, their businesses. Because that's really important that when you're telling people what you do, um, sending it back there. Now, the rule of thumb of any social media is that it should be one of three things either entertaining, informative, or educational. So we're looking at this, and it's a great image from Lucy. She put some hashtags there, and there's 56 people that it's reached. Something like 1%, if you're lucky, will get to your following. Uh, you see, when somebody likes something, you get more reach. When there's a comment, when there's a motion, you get even more reach. So there's a double there. This was our trip where uh, you're watching the video and then uh, this is us coming down to the West End. So you see there's much more reach because there's one, two, three, four people that have liked that. This picture I love. And earlier on I put thank you for the like. What I want you to think about is that a Facebook post will only last four hours. A Twitter post only lasts a few seconds. And what, what I've done there by putting that on nine minutes ago is I've given it life again for the next four hours and you will see even more likes and shares. Now I'm gonna give you a little hack here that as a um, individual that's an admin, you're allowed to invite your friends. So inviting your friends is easy and they will like your page. Sometimes you run out of friends to like your page. So when somebody comes around or an associate or somebody you trust, make them an admin of your page. That way they can invite all their friends too. So that, that's a really easy way of getting to get more likes and shares. So this is your business post. And of course, one in four, one in five posts link them back to your website. So the last the last product of Facebook is a group. Now, the most challenging thing in social media, one of anyway, 
is having an audience. So if you've got a Facebook page like McDonald's or Nike, there you have thousands and thousands of people. If you have a ready-made audience, wouldn't that be great? Well, it does exist. Uh, a ready-made audience, uh, uh, lots and lots of people that live locally or are your customers ready and you are loving local. Here we go. Loving local imports. This is a ready-made audience. So we've got 17,000 people here. And they're just waiting to do business with you. See, uh, can you recommend somebody who fix curtains? Now, wherever you are in the world, there will be groups of people, local people, looking for your business. And what you do, your first time you go into such a group, you introduce yourself and what you do and a link to your website. And this really does help with the optimization. Don't sell on these groups. Just add value by telling people what you do. So JT accounts, why a will is so important. That's really excellent stuff. You see, because there's a link, you can like a page. Now, the app, it costs you about two pounds per like. So you've got free like there. You can like pages. So I hope you've enjoyed my rundown of Facebook. Uh, there's three different types. There's a Facebook page, and you must have your link on that one. Uh, in the administration part, in the profile part. Then there's your business page, which is getting more and more expensive to get in front of the right people. So you need more likes and there's less organic traffic. And I've taught you a way of doing that, inviting your friends and then getting people to be your administrators and then inviting friends. But the best thing of all, I think, is joining a local group or people that are passionate about your product uh, so say you sell uh, record players and then you join a vinyl vinyl group, people that love vinyl, or uh, if you sell, if you're an accountant and then you join a small business networking group, then all these things exist already and they already have the audience. That way you can send traffic back and you'll, you'll see more traffic because the goal is really between a quarter and a half of the people that are... Um, coming to your website are coming from social media. I really hope that's helped. Thank you for listening. And did I do as well as Lucy?